Hey, NorCal Carters. It is Monday, March 28th, and this is going to be a little bit of a different show. It was based on the Challenge of the Americas for the recap since that event just took place this past weekend. Uh, but a number of the teams and drivers are on the road or had prior commitments. And being we didn't know who the champions would be until yesterday, we kind of got a little bit behind on the bookings. Um, otherwise, it would have looked pretty staged. So tonight, it's still going to be a Challenge of the Americas-themed show. If you want to be on the show right now, if you want to be on the show tonight, send us a message. We will send you the link to join in the studio. And come on. We'll talk about Challenge of the Americas. It doesn't matter if you were at Sonoma, Tucson, or Phoenix. As long as you participated in one of those events, come on the show. And uh, we'll talk about Challenge of the Americas. So with that being said, let's bring on Ashley. Hey, NorCal. So we had Challenge of the Americas finishing in Sonoma over the weekend. Heard lots of good things. Um, and uh, we would love to hear what you guys saw, what you guys heard, and um all of the all the juicy scoops so go ahead comment um let us know if you want to be on the show tonight um yeah here we go here we go well while we're at it ashley why don't we talk about what you have coming up in the next couple of months for the norical mondays all right so while we're on that topic um, in April, we have Cole Nelson Racing. So I reached out to Cole. Cole's excited. Um, he's hoping to get some of his team drivers. So if you are a team driver of Cole Nelson Racing, reach out to Cole. Let him know that you're interested in be, uh, coming on the show with him. Um, then we'll go into some race reports for April. Um, we're trying to cover as much um, as we can from our um, clubs. So we um, are going to be hearing from hopefully Prairie City, NCK, CCKRA, um, Northern Nevada Cart Club, Sonoma to get some um, kind of just – let us know what's happening at the races, who's who's in the running with who, and who's fighting who for points and all that stuff. Um, then we're going to do a requested how to get into karting show. So this show is going to be aimed for the new guy, the, the um, people who don't know other people in the industry to go and ask, um, how do you get into carding? So if you're interested in being on that show, again, reach out to us. We have had a, a few people reach out to us. So we want to make sure we can get the, a wide ver, uh, range of information. And then we are going to be having another junior driver's show. So this show does have a standby list. That means I already have the set amount of, of guests we can have and your name will be on the list for if one of them drops or if we do decide to do another show. I will be reaching out to you sometime this week um, to get the final confirmations and uh, parent permissions from the guests we will be having. So that's April for us. And then um, the word is out. We are having a Mother's Day show for cart moms um, the Monday after Mother's Day. So if you want to be on that show, let me know. I kind of have a feeling we're going to have a standby list um, for that as well, just because of who has already um, asked me about it. So let me know as soon as, as, soon as you want to be on the show for the Cart Moms show, Junior Drivers, how to get into karting, one of the race reports, or um, Cole Nelson. 
So yeah, that's all I got so far. <laughs> that's all you got. All right. I'm going to piggyback off of your, your schedule. So we have a message coming in from gear nuts. How to get in carding would be a great show. Uh, honestly, that's, that's probably going to turn into two or three shows over the co course of the next couple of months. Cause it's, we could do the cookie cutter. Boom, boom, boom. This is what you need to do. Uh, but the idea is to get a little bit more in depth to walk people through it and Hey, this is how you get into carding. So, uh, April 18th, I, I believe. Is that right, Ashley? Yes. Is for how to get into carding. And, um, again, it's probably going to morph into a couple of other shows and uh, we're just going to take it from there. But again, it's race carts. So we're going to, uh, really focus on how to get into race karting. So uh, if you're listening and you're wondering right now, well, how do I get into karting? If you've never been to a indoor place or you've never been to a rental cart place, uh, similar to what Donald Durbin has at Prairie City or Race Carts Inc., they do, do cart rentals. Um, if you've never been to any of those places, then go look them up. If you don't know how to get a hold of them, send us a message. We will put you in touch with them. But that's the first step. Get out there and try it. Yeah. then you can figure out what you need to buy. So that's going to be probably step one of how to get into carting. But try a school, try a rental cart. K1's actually, I don't like plugging the indoor stuff too much because it's not reciprocal. But it has a great place in carting where a lot of people can jump in, go spend their 40 or $50, get their laps in. And if they say, oh, well, that was a lot of fun. I want to do it again next weekend. Those are the guys we want. We want the ones that want to repeatedly do indoor karting. We don't want the ones that come in and go, oh, $30, that was a lot of money for indoor karting. That's probably not who we're targeting. So if you're listening and you've never been in a cart, look up cart rentals. If you send me an email, I will put you in touch with different cart rental facilities throughout the country. And that's, uh, again, that's just going to be the beginning of the show. So thanks, Gear Nuts, for the uh, comment. And um, Ashley, thank you for the rundown on the calendar. Mm -hmm. And without further ado, let's jump right into uh, Challenge of the Americas. So they just wrapped up their 2022 series, Challenge of the Americas. It was a six-race series during January, February, and March. They wrapped it up at Sonoma. Um, I do have some video from uh, the Camerons with last lap duel between Christian Cameron and Steven Isert, both NorCal boys. Um, I also have a video of the new tic-tac-toe layout that uh, we raced it for the first time last weekend at uh, Rock Sonoma race number one. And then Challenge of the Americas utilized the new tic-tac-toe section. I, I'm mixed on it. I personally haven't driven it yet. Um, so if anyone wants to let me borrow their cart for a day, most of you have my phone number. Um, I'm really curious to see how drivable it is. Um, I'm kind of one of those guys where as long as it doesn't completely just destroy stuff, I'm probably not going to bash it. My understanding is a little bit more technical. Um, it looks like the speeds coming out of the corner were quite a bit slower than in the past. But there's some guys out there that annihilated tic-tac-toe. Uh, one of them, and I'm going to work really, really hard. I try to get uh, Kiriako on tonight because I'm pretty good at butchering this kid's name. But we have some live footage of him from Rock Sonoma going through tic-tac-toe with his battle with Ryan Martin in the pro shifter class. And in my opinion, he was probably one of the faster drivers of the weekend getting through that section. So, um, again, go to YouTube, Rock Sonoma, check it out. We did the live stream at last week's race. But, um, yeah, Kiriako did a really good job at getting through there. Kiri is a stud. See, and that's where I get confused, Josh, is his nickname's Kiri. I, I butcher both of his. I butcher his nickname and I butcher his real name. So I'm working on the names, people. I really am. I, it, I, that's our identifiers, and I get it. Um, so if I kind of uh, sound like I'm butchering it, I might change change your name altogether and nickname you so it's easier. But um, let's see here. I'm gonna jump in. Let's let's bring up the. Uh, let's see there. Boom. There's your champions. 2022 Challenge of the America champions. So you have the 
the rock shifter champion hunter pickett your micro rock champion case and hodge junior rock champion tristan Hodge. i'm sorry tristan young master shifter rock kevin woods masters 100 cc ian oh i'm gonna mess this name up too cohen Coenges, junior 100 cc christian cameron mini rock gage corn 100 cc senior kirko sukas uh, rock senior carson bowers and master rock Derek wang so those were your 2022 challenge of the america champions and uh, like I said, we try to get Andy on tonight, but um, they had a little bit of a delay on the road. So uh, safe travels to those guys, but he wasn't able to do the live stream. And then when I reached He's out in to the him, picture. Like, oh, He's in the picture. He's in the picture. What's that? He's in the picture. Andy's there Andy. on the left with a big old cheesy <laughs> smile. <laughs> like he has one of the, the best smiles. Like it just, it just kind of fills a room. It just, yeah, he yes. just smiles. So, yeah, that's uh, Andy Saisman on the left-hand side there. So, Lots uh, of NorCal drivers. Yeah, a lot of NorCal drivers. Let's see, Hunter Pickett, Case and Hodge. Um, can we get – we're Tristan Young. Is that NorCal? If it's not, let me know. Put in the comments, Tristan Young, is that NorCal? Kevin Woods is NorCal. Uh, Ian – if I'm butchering your name, chime in. Ian – Kion, Kion, geez. I, I hope they just spelled it wrong and, and I actually pronounced it right, but that's probably not the case. Um, Christian Cameron, NorCal. Gage Korn, is that NorCal? I've seen that name a lot up here. Uh, Kiri, NorCal. Uh, let's see, Carson Bowers, I don't think that's NorCal. And Derek Wang, I know that's not NorCal. We try to get Derek Wang on too. That guy is a character. Uh, he could probably carry his own show. But um, there you have it, 2022 Challenge of the America Champions. And uh, the nice thing about tonight's show, again, it's still going to be Challenge of the Americas. If you participated in one of the events, chime in. I don't care if you're a driver, a family member, a crew member, a team member. Just chime in. Let us know how the series went for you. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to plug whoever you're working with or racing with. And um, it's also given me a chance to experiment with uh, some of the videos and some of the other things. I've tried it in the past and I've not successfully done it, but um, I think I figured some of it out. So I, the one thing I like about my original podcast, it's just audio. There, there's no visuals. The flip side to that is there's no visuals, so it doesn't grab your attention. So uh, let's see here. Ashley? Take over for about a minute or longer. Okay. So I can't remember what was um, the uh, Ridgely. He's he's not gear nuts, is he? No, Ridgely is our cart go carts and RCs. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Josh chimed in, Andy and his whole crew do a flawless job year after year. Always a bucket list event on my calendar. Yes, we always, we're always excited for a challenge around here. For challenge? Yeah. I, I like it because it ends in Sonoma. So I'm like, oh, I can go to the Sonoma one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and it was beautiful. I did one picture or one post on Instagram and Ashley's going to get mad at me because I'm not supposed to, I'm not supposed to do Instagram posts without her permission. Cause last year I did one of an outhouse. She wasn't yeah. real thrilled, but I go up to the top of the hill. I take a picture. The pits were full. The background scenery, the, it's beautiful green. Uh, I caught a perfect morning where there was no fog. There was no clouds. It was, um, it was beautiful. I mean, it's just Sonoma. Um, and then here in about two months, it'll be windy and my hay fever will be cranked up. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that banner at the bottom here. And then we have Dave Thomas. Too many penalties. 
too many penalties. That's interesting. That that's one of the jobs I'll never do. Race directing. I'm not not interested. Just you can't win. You just can't win. Um, <laughs> did anyone get a sheep shit cart? <laughs> I don't think this year. I think it rained after all the races were done, Josh. So, <sighs> but you know what? I did take a picture driving up, and I don't know if I text Andy the picture or not. But it, my my idea was sending Andy the picture and say, "Hey, your lawnmowers are out," because um, all the sheep were on the hill as you drive into the cart track. But uh, let's see here. So while we're talking about Sonoma and ch- uh, Challenge. Let's see if I can bring up uh, the new tic-tac-toe layout. Give me a moment here. So I took a I took this video uh, last weekend for Rock Sonoma, and uh, this is the new tic-tac-toe layout. So give me a moment here. Can you see my mouse on the screen? Yes. Yeah. So right here, that's the new layout where they elongated the the toe part. So you got tic. I'm sorry, tack tic tac toe. So they elongated the tack section uh, to keep drivers from flying over the berms. So that's the yeah. new tic tac toe layout. So now you have to go all the way. Yeah. Yeah, so now you're you're driving deeper into, uh, let's see, tick tack. You're driving deeper into tack. You're going longer, and then you got to cut back further to make uh, toe. And interesting. Honestly, I, I'm I'm taking some liberties here. Um, by saying the majority don't like it, that's kind of a liberty on my part, but the. The majority of the drivers I personally spoke to didn't really care for it. Um, Mm -hmm. Some of the older timers that raced it, you know, 15, 20 years ago, they were saying they just ruined Sonoma. Yeah. I don't think they ruined it. They definitely changed it. But that characteristic jump over the curb is gone. Um, And I I don't know. I it's for me, it's kind of growing on me because it's the other one. You had to hit it right, but it was kind of just balls of the wall. This one, it definitely appears to be a lot more technical. Um, I do believe, though, it took away a passing zone. Um, I only saw about two passes total over the past couple of weekends where someone made an attempt to pass um, either going into tic-tac-toe or in the middle of tic-tac-toe. But I did see a lot of passes exiting uh, tic-tac-toe where the front driver just didn't have the momentum. Um, So, yeah. That's uh, the new tic-tac-toe layout. All right. So we have some questions. Ashley, have you driven this track? Sonoma, no. I have, I, I haven't. I've only raised kid carts. I've driven the big, like the NASCAR track Sonoma, but that was only because um, I did it with an official while I was working because I wanted to go around the track. So I have done a lap around the big track. Woo. <laughs> um, and then perfect for a Briggs race, Briggs race in Sonoma now. Oh, the new um, tic-tac-toe. No, no, it's not. <laughs> no one wants to watch an engine peter out a third of the way down the straightaway and popping <laughs> and spitting. And before you guys go on there and go, oh, you don't like Briggs. Like I race Briggs. It's like, but there's no, not at Sonoma, which I don't know. Sonoma is a beautiful track, but we have so many tracks in the Central Valley that the Briggs is perfectly suited for. You have Dixon, you have Davis, you have Prairie City, you have Redding, you have Shasta. You um, that is the Redding and Shasta, Medford, Reno. Uh, Fresno, you have the CCKRA guys, they go to Santa Maria, they go to Willow Springs, all those tracks, perfectly fine for Briggs. Sonoma, in my opinion, yeah, the Briggs guys are kind of missing out on a great facility, but uh, I I think Sonoma is a little too big for the Briggs stuff, and 
comment if you think I'm wrong or just full of S. It. Uh, let's see. Is right, the Shifter Master Rock Class 125 cc? Yes, it is. Two stroke 125 cc. Uh, published horsepower numbers about 40, depending on who you talk to. If you're talking to an engine builder, they're going to inflate the number. Um, did I say six speed gearbox? Yeah, I did. Um, yeah, it's a rock shifter master rock, and it's the same as the pro shifter class. Um, as far as the engine specs, the only difference is weight. Uh, and then at Rock Sonoma, at the at the Rock Sonoma regional stuff, they have what they call limited 125 shifter, predominantly made up of master drivers, but it has an exhaust restrictor to bring the power down to. I'm kind of pulling numbers on my uh, ass, but right around 30 to 35 horsepower on the restricted stuff. So that's been a very popular class at the Rock Sonoma series has been the limited 125 shifter. Other than that, it's all they're all identical, uh, being specs and stuff. Um, all right, what else? You want to get to our last lap action between Steven Isert and Christian Cameron? Steven Isert, Christian Cameron, if you guys are on. Send us a DM. We'll put you on right now. And Lambert, don't forget. You guys Lambert. can tell us what really happened. Preston Lambert. <laughs> and Lambert. <laughs> and if you guys are wondering why did I, why did I didn't text or call you, this is a test to see who actually chimes into the show on NorCal Mondays. This is a test. I was um, going to text see. you guys, but this is a test. This is a test. <laughs> So, and I know a lot of drivers, it's, you know, they spent two weekends at Sonoma or two weeks at Sonoma for Rock Sonoma and for Challenge of the Americas. And I also know uh, a handful of those same drivers are getting ready for NOLA this yeah. week. Um, and a lot of the teams are getting ready for NOLA this week. So it's, I, I definitely get it. it. This is one of the busier times of the calendar, um, especially when you're in NorCal and you got to travel back to Louisiana. So, um, any of our NorCal drivers that are going to Louisiana, if you want to chime in or do a race report, let us know. Yeah. Uh, we'll have you on, you know, next week or, or throughout the week and do some race reporting for us. Uh, the only caveat is you got to be from NorCal. <laughs> uh, let's go, Stevie, about to text Chad Icer. <laughs> they should be listening. <laughs> All Team right. Pago in the, is in the house. Hey. Speaking of somebody whose name you used to butcher that you gave them a nickname and now you can pronounce their name is Steve Pago. I didn't <laughs> give him a nickname. I, I just, I have three names for him. Steve Piggott, Pigo, and Peugeot. Yeah. Uh, we but are that was do... only because we didn't know how to say it at No, first. I didn't. No. Yeah. But we are going to do a show. Uh, the name's Jason Butchers, and we'll have the guests on to correct me. Yeah. Yeah. George, Georgia, George, or just George. Giorgio, Georgiou. Uh, <laughs> guess his mom. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was true. true. Story. <laughs> that was true. But is it Piggott? Piggott. It's Pago. Piggott. Pago. It was explained to us that it was a good old fashioned American name. Pago. Pigot. Pigot. Pigo. And Stefan Goudreau is another one I butchered. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I try, and then Stefan, Stefan Goudreau and Steve Pago raced together. So it's, when they're just swapping positions, try, oh, man, I it was a, it was a disaster. <laughs> disaster. All right. Show us that video. Oh, yeah. We have another video. All right. Bear with me for a second. All right. Ready? Ready? 
So Steven Eisert's in the front, Christian Cameron's in second, and this is the bat last lap battle at Challenge of the Americas, Rock Sonoma. From the Christian Cameron band. And I'll let you guys guess who sent me the, the footage based on the, the um, cheering section. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Dang. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got some NASCAR fans out there. Block him! <laughs> wow. That was pretty good. Oh, Preston Lambert. Preston Lambert's here. What's up, Preston Lambert? Preston's there. Do you want to come on and tell us about the weekend? Let us know. Yes, these yes. two put on a show. They did. And there's there was lots of stuff. Well, and and our friend Preston Lambert too. And there was lots of stuff going on over the weekend that we would like to hear about. So tell us about this show. <laughs> All right, give me a moment. You I might drop off here in a second. Okay. Reach out to Lambert too. All right, there he went. So, yeah, if you were in Sonoma, if you were in Phoenix, Tucson, and want to tell us about Challenge, let us know. Um, we'll send you a link to come on the show. And we're trying to get, hopefully we can get through to Icer and Christian Cameron. We got Preston Lambert here. We're trying to work with him. All right. Anything in the comments that you guys want to talk about? Anything coming up? Any questions about race reports, where they're coming from? Comments. Preston Lambert, we see you. All right. All right. All right. So I, I just need to send a message out to uh, Plambert, the real Plambert. <laughs> All right. That looked like two kids who respected each other. Yes. Yes. Josh will be in Blue Max on Saturday. <laughs> Announcement. All right. Bear with me for one second. All right, who's this coming in from? All right, Ashley, you got to carry me for a second. My ADD right. kicked in. What do I, what do I talk about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I'm trying to figure out who just sent me a text. Okay, so April 11th will be our race report show. If you race at Prairie City with NCK, CCKRA, NNKC or Sonoma, hit us up and we will get you on the race report show. All right, we got one of them. Is that Did Preston? Get... No, this is uh, Cameron. Oh, they're faster. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, are you ready? Just give me a thumbs up when you're ready.
All right, ready? Why does Josh keep talking about Briggs? Because he races. And is that um, popcorn or peanuts? Or poop? Or a potato? Icon. <laughs> Because he races Briggs 206. Here's another one. What would you tell someone who asks you how to get into carding? Put it in the comments. We're trying to get some drivers into the stream right now. Put it in the chat. What, um, how, how to get into carding questions. If you race with Prairie City, NCK, CCKRA, and NKC, Sonoma, type in the chat. Type in the chat. All right, ready? Okay. Here we go. Hey, Christian. Hi. All right, so we got Christian Cameron here. He was racing in Sonoma. We just saw his final lap battle with Steven Iser. Tell us about your weekend. Uh, it was good. It's crazy. A lot of penalties. All right, all right. <laughs> Any? <laughs> We're the way for Preston and my popcorn. <laughs> and my popcorn. <laughs> All right. What do you want to tell us about Christian? Uh, weekend. You're really happy. I was happy about the weekend. I won on Saturday, and but I got a penalty, so that doesn't really count. Sunday I won, so I was happy about that. But the rest of the weekend was okay. Sunday was much better the day than Saturday. That's for sure. It sounds like it. Did you did you get a ticket or anything while you were uh, in Vegas? Yeah, while you were uh, racing over there. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so, are you excited? You're going to go to Vegas. Yes, free ticket. Well done, well done. So, Christian, we have someone texting in on the hotline. It's not showing up in the uh, on the comments, but it's coming in on the text hotline. Said so Christian beat me up on Sunday and punched me in the face. Oh. Is that is that a true story? No. 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 Kinda. And then he Kinda. followed it up. I'm assuming it's a he. Ask him <laughs> if he beat anyone up. Like, do you watch the Oscars or something? Oh. No. <laughs> we don't talk about Jada. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him what happened. Well, it was kind of confusing, but I did hit my mechanic in the face accidentally accidentally <laughs> you may say that it wasn't accidentally but it was <laughs> tell them what happened but yeah tell them tell him. us what happened well there's nothing really sh say i just hit him <laughs> <laughs> well why'd you hit him what was he doing uh, to you well he tried to smack me and i tried to block it but his hand moved so it went all the way up and hit his face. Oh, so he, he blocked your hand with his face. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, I, it, evidently, it was a pretty good punch, too. <laughs> like he thought he had a bloody nose. <laughs> All right. We did get some comments in. So one, uh, Josh said, good, good driving this weekend, Christian. <laughs> but our other friends... Our other friend, John, would like to know, what was the penalty? Well, the first penalty was for, I went for a pass on Preston, and I didn't really make it. I wasn't too sure to do it, so I backed off, and he went to the outside to give me more room, and the stewards called that a bump and run, because they thought when he moved over to the outside, I hit him, which wasn't oh. true. Oh, all right. All right. And you and we were watching your your last your last um lap with your cheering section. <laughs> we were watching your last lap. Welcome. So tell us what was going through your mind 
when you and Icer are like battling back and forth and it's the last lap and you guys are just bumping each other, what's going through your mind at that time? At first, he passed me and pushed me out wide and then he had a little bit of a gap and I wasn't too sure if I was going to make it, catch it back up to him. So I wasn't too sure and I caught up to him. I was like, okay, I need to make a move now or it's going to be too late. So I dive bombed him and... <laughs> I held it there, so, and then I won the weight race, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got comments. Real, real champions own it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then okay. we have another one. Uh, Christian wields all weekend. Congrats. Thank wow. You. Thank we are you. very proud of you here in NorCal, Christian. Yes. So. Thanks so much. We will uh, definitely be watching you in Vegas for sure. <laughs> Is it rude of me to say, at the, I hope you get DQ'd at the next race because I had one of the best margaritas on Saturday night? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Tell him where you're going tomorrow. He doesn't have anything to do with that. Well, Tell it came me. from his pit. <laughs> yeah. That, that, was a, that was a pretty uh, big... Uh, a big, uh, big to do for sure. <laughs> you missed it, Ashley. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. So, Christian, what are your other plans for the rest of this year? Where are you going well, tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'm leaving for New Orleans for um, one of the races there, and so hopefully we do do well there. And then two week break, and then I don't. I'm going to Pogo. Uh, the, um, Pro cart and button no, the, Yeah, and the go What part. team do you run with in NOLA? Uh, speed Concepts. Give Alex a big hug for me, please. I will. <laughs> maybe maybe Mike, too, but definitely Alex. Yeah. So you go to Charlotte? Charlotte, too. And I don't know. I just go with the flow or whatever. They decide where I'm going. <laughs> I go. <laughs> oh my goodness Let's well and you do well everywhere you go so that's very that's that's very good we're excited yeah. for you but hey, we're excited you know for vegas we are excited his <laughs> parents are especially excited because we got a ticket <laughs> <laughs> yes all right. Tell them about your new sponsors. All right. Well, Let's I have see. two new sponsors too: Flying Husky and Desert Flight. So they're that's pretty big. Congratulations. Thank what you. is Flying Husky? Uh, no idea. The rescue dogs, like the rescue husky. Oh, it's a pet rescue. rescue. Husky. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. And what was the other sponsor? Desert Flight. Desert Flight. It's, it's a movie. it's a movie. It's it's a movie about the horses and how they do the training for the horses. Oh God! In okay. Competition. Nice. They're very com nice. they're very competitive. So Excellent. for those wondering why I have this random track up, this is Nola. Oh, nice. That is the Nola facility. Have you been there before, Christian? Never. Oh, you're gonna love it. It'll, <laughs> it'll suit your style pretty well. Nice. nice. Yes. Yeah. Where's Preston? Is Preston coming on? I don't, he was chiming in on YouTube, um, and I sent him a text. I haven't heard back from him. Hmm. Okay. okay. He's probably mountain biking or something. Who knows? <laughs> Kids these days. Christian, what do you? What are you? What do you do when you're not racing? Uh, school, basically. <laughs> Catch up. And mostly just karting. That is true. Well, when you're going to like NOLA, then Charlotte, then here, then there, <laughs> yeah. all you have time for is school. Yeah. School, 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 school. All right. So you raced all three of the challenge races. Which one, which track is your favorite? Uh... Mm. Remember we were in Phoenix? Batch Acres? No. Well, that, that for the three, yeah. 
for the three but, who you're talking about. You're talking Tucson, about Tucson, Phoenix, Phoenix or, or Sonoma. Sonoma. Phoenix. Why? It's fun. <laughs> All right. Is it faster? Is it why it, what do you like about it? It's a tight tighter track and shorter laps. Daytona that turns pretty fun. Spanked. Uh yeah. All right. We have a question. Are you better than Dane on Sims? No. <laughs> you're getting there. You always say you're getting there. It's always, of course. Oh. All until you're proven wrong. Yeah. All right. Oh, you know what? Let's see. Um, I don't know if this is the actual layout, but we're going to go for it anyway. Since, let's see. This video is on YouTube. Carding with Chris. So we'll see if he can get us a quick moment to give us a, a tour around NOLA. Oh, that'd be nice. Let's see here. I don't know if there's going to be the layout, but we're winging it. We're winging it, people. <laughs> Sounds good. Yep. What do you think? I mean, they're doing like 12 miles an hour right there. Hang on. <laughs> Lawnmowers. Great. <laughs> Four strokes. <laughs> all right. All of us just lost that brig sponsorship I was going for. <laughs> I thought there was an opening after the cart chaser, guys, but guess not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is the formation lap. Oh, someone got punted. Oh, lost a chain or got punted. Look how much letter on these carts. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so for those tuning in, this is NOLA, NOLA Motorsports Park. And these are Briggs 206 racers. Huh. He backed off from 49 miles an hour to 48. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, in all fairness, the Briggs racing is pretty tight. Yeah. They're crazy. Have you been there, Jason? I have. You have? Yeah. Oh, I mean, he just passed like 19 guys right there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See? <laughs> well, what happened? Uh-oh. Oh, oh. You, uh, you forgot to pay for the uh, ad-free subscription. Come yeah. on, Ashley. You know me better than that. <laughs> so I don't pay comes, for anything. Here comes Christian's fan club coming to visit us. <laughs> <laughs> the cheer, the ones that were cheering them on. Hi, Hi girls. So, Hello. Yeah. Um, so Christian is, um, we actually have him pretty busy. We're going to do all the, um, what is it, USPKS over the summer. And I think it seems it breaks down basically a race every two weeks. We're going to have him going. And thanks to our sponsors that he received, um, we're able to do so. Um, Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> and give him, give him some um, time with the big boys, and that's where he learns, right? Yep. So we'll see how it goes. Well, hopefully it's a good summer. But he's been in school quite a bit because he's missing so much time. So I think we're going to extend school all the way through <laughs> through summer. Um, oh, yeah. Sorry, but that's the part. I'm going to go the boat trips. Even uh, even race car drivers have to go to school, kids. Right. That's so, right. 
So Otherwise, you you end up forty six years old starting a website called Norcal Carters. <laughs> Education is important. <laughs> so, so he's all right. He gets a lot of time doing what he loves. So it pays off, right? Yes, it, it'll pay off. And then, um, and between that, he he likes his. You got received a new bike. He just turned twelve two weeks ago. So he has his new bike that he's been asking for. The new uh, uh, skateboard. What brand is it the, that you like so much? The Santa Cruz. The Santa Cruz. And then um, for all of that, no. he helps me um, with rescue, with the uh, animal rescue. So he's he's got a oh, tight schedule. Good. Actually, all joking aside, Christian does love the animals. He does. He does, yeah. Yeah. When you see him at the track with the cats or whatever, he always lights up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He does, whether it's the sick chicken or the... The, the, yep. the, the cat we found or the, or the dog or the whatever. well if you just feed the chicken to the cat it kind of it feeds the cat and it gets rid of a sick chicken <laughs> do you want to come say hi come here come say hello and this is his fan club come, come say hello she just got out of her bath Hey! Can you say hi? Oh, that's the, that's the little girl that drives the McLaren around the pits. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's I'm pretty the sure next she was aiming for my ankles. <laughs> She's the next one in line. Yay! So we'll give her uh, another year, and she'll be starting in the uh, Bambino. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yay! Right? Is that you're gonna follow Uncle Christian? Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's the, there it is. Awesome. I'm yeah. trying to drag my feet because I'm going back and forth with Preston on the phone right now. <laughs> tell him, tell Preston to come on. Yeah, he he's trying to. Tell him, come, tell him, come on. We'll It'll see if he makes time. it in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, did we actually, ever? Did we bring up uh, Edson Mitchell's comment? With uh, I'm I'm just kind of bounce around the comments here. Maybe not. Uh, Travis Mitchell just wanted to let you know that he really enjoyed being on your podcast and enjoying seeing his family in the UK, but can't wait to get back for the KPX race in Davis. And hopefully you will be there. Nice. Yeah, that's right. Because Travis was, we were trying to do a follow up with Travis and like two days after our podcast, he was flying to the UK. And I, yeah. I think he had said he hasn't seen his family over there in like two years or something because of COVID. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way it's been here with us for New Zealand, our family. We still haven't seen them yet. Haven't had the chance. Okay. So it's, uh, we're waiting eventually. All right. So did we get. I think Preston's trying to comb his hair or put his mascara on or something. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's doing. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, do we have um, any more questions for Christian? Any more questions for the Camerons? <laughs> All right. Oh. What? Um, I will have some big news to announce soon. Oh. Steve says we have. Oh, that's right. We'll have oh. some big news. Your announcer is getting a pay raise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dream on. Um, <laughs> about about limited. It's about one twenty-five limited. Do you want to tell them now? You no, want to spill it? It's not done, but it's. It's not done. Well, it's done, but it's not announced yet. It's oh, it's not announced yet, but. Uh, so big news coming out of uh, Rock Sonoma about one twenty-five limited. Oh yeah. Yes. It's going right. to be big. Can I take guesses or no? Go ahead. Look, we have a question. Christian and mom, any favorite restaurants, food, or anything else you like when traveling? That's my question. When traveling. What is your favorite when you travel? Well, when we're local, we like the Sunflower Cafe here in Sonoma. W local Sunflower Cafe. Okay. Yes. Um, in and out as always. His usually typically his favorite. 
And uh, what was the other that you like when we're on the go? DoorDash. DoorDash. <laughs> DoorDash. <laughs> That's me. Hey, All right, right, we got him. Here he is, Preston Lambert. Hi, you All right, doing? Preston, tell us what happened over the weekend. Oh, uh, nothing much. It was a decent weekend, I guess. Um, yeah, it was fun. Did so Christian said it? earlier that you pointed him by and then got penalized for it. Pointed him by? Yeah, you pointed him by, like, hey, go ahead, and then he got penalized for it. <laughs> Not that I know of. I, I never pointed him by. I put my hand up, but I never pointed him by. <laughs> I'm just baiting you. <laughs> Did you get a ticket as well, Preston? Oh, uh, yeah, for the race entry only. No tires or fuel. Uh, so, oh. still good. So, you have Are a ticket you... to Vegas? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. That's yeah. Awesome. What took you so long to jump on? I mean, it's been like I couldn't. I, I know I couldn't find my webcam, and then I was also in the middle of an eye racing race from like <laughs> oh, 10, 15 out. minutes ago, and then Got I it. found out that he wanted me on. So yeah. Yeah. What well, are you doing? Running, running Miata or something? No, the Formula, of, the, the Formula is, Four. Formula Four. Yeah. At oh, Sonoma. Okay. Yeah. What? Oh, Formula Four at Sonoma. Yeah. On I eye just, racing. Yeah, me and my buddies were just having fun. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. Tell us about Saturday and then tell us about Sunday. Well, Saturday was it was all right, I guess. Didn't have quite enough speed to keep up with Christian and Steven, but still finished third and I think like six seconds ahead of fourth. And then Sunday was a little harder where we didn't have quite as much pace as we did um, Saturday. And fourth and fifth place were kind of right there the whole race. And then yeah. it was kind of just a drag race to the line for third. All right. And so then, who, what, what, who are your kind of uh, the other guys you were battling with? Um, it was Icert and Christian. Uh, it was me, Alex Rentola, and then I think Max Altman was in the mix as well. Okay. Yeah. How's how's Rentola feeling? He Good. Went pretty hard into the wall. On was it him oh, or oh, yeah. Anthony that went hard into the wall? He he went pretty hard into the wall. Yeah, he avoided a wreck, and yeah, it was it was a pretty big crash. Was it was it. Was it Alex that took it, or was it Anthony? Uh, Alex was the one that went into the wall, I think. But I'm sure I think they all wrecked pretty hard. It, lo it looked it looked pretty um, it looked pretty rough when I saw it. I couldn't really tell who it was. Anthony, yeah. yeah, but it looked pretty rough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has the big bruise on his leg. Yeah, supposedly. Oh wow! And then who was the kid in the red suit? No clue. Oh, that's um, no clue. Get on RPM, or I don't know. Yeah. Ask him if he's still doing this from that margarita. Oh, oh. Hey, Josh. Jason. I mean, Jason. Yeah. Sorry, my son-in-law wants to know how you feeling from your margarita. I could have done a couple more. Did you? <laughs> oh God. That's awesome. But yeah. um. No, I mean, honestly, I couldn't have because I had to go home that night. But <laughs> I don't know what you put in it, but usually <laughs> mine are pretty strong. I ran out of gas and just poured the rest of the margarita in the, in the whole thing <laughs> and then made it home. So, Preston, where else are you going to... <laughs> I was a lot happier than Steve. Oh, that's <laughs> where else are you going to be racing? So. <laughs> um, Kind of depends on the funding right now. I want to try and go... Maybe go race Utah, uh, okay. the Pro Tour, but I'm trying to find the funding for that. Okay. Preston. Yeah. You, you need to get your local people. You need to put something together, package together a little write-up and your photos <laughs> from your wins. Yeah. And your podiums, right? And yeah. you need to go to your local people, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. Are you? Good. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just want to make sure. No, you're good. Yeah, thank you. Just make sure you get it, okay? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Okay. You just, you go for it. Yeah. Make sure. Right. Yep. Sell yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying my hardest. Good. Thank good, you. good. Sorry, sorry about the noise in the background. I didn't realize it was going to start going on you. But we already showed some video of Christian and Icert duking it out. I don't really have anything of, of Preston recently. I mean, you were on the live stream from last week at Rock Sonoma. Yeah. But 
give me one second here. Walk us through. Lambert will know that what this is as soon as he sees it. Oh, that. <laughs> Good times. All right. All right, Lambert. Was that a Briggs and Stratton? Nope, that was an 80 shifter. An 80 CC. Yeah. Oh, wow. Actually, I thought it was actually going to be a different video, but I, I couldn't find that one either. Uh, of candy oh yeah he's he's the junior donut king <laughs> okay that's great so preston are you going to nola uh no i'm not doing any of the pro tour hopefully utah but nothing okay. else yeah okay Oh, we're bummed. You're missing out on good food in NOLA. Just yeah, I'm, I'm pretty bummed I couldn't go, but hopefully next year. Oh, the food out there is incredible. Oh, the track's pretty good, too, but the food is... Yeah. Track's even better. <laughs> I, I, I think even the McDonald's is better out there. Like, everything <laughs> the out there is better. <laughs> the food. The food. Okay, so if the food is so good there, what should Christian be looking for? On food? Yes. McDonald's. <laughs> You don't oh, I mean, you could, you could, like, what I'm so amazed by, like, we live in a beautiful area. We have the Bay Area, we have the Pacific Ocean, etc. But I always find myself really struggling to find good seafood out here. Yes. And in NOLA, it was just everywhere. Like, they had these, like, a, a local chain restaurant. I think it was called New Orleans Seafood and Bar or something. And just, they have this fish called a red fish. Fantastic. The oysters are great. Like, everywhere you go, you can get great seafood. And it just blows me away that we don't have that out here. We have good seafood if you know where to go. But out there, if you trip and fall, you're going to hit a seafood place or an oyster place or a crawdad place. Yeah. She can hey, Preston, did you race all three of the challenge races? Yeah, I did all three of them. Which one was your favorite track? Uh, probably, probably Tucson. Tucson Why? was Tucson. It was fun, and I won on Sunday, so that was also a plus. <laughs> but it was it was just a fun track. And then, which of the three is your least favorite? None of them are really my least favorite. Like they're all super fun, but. I mean, maybe Phoenix. Okay, the one you have to work the most at. Probably Sonoma. That's the one I probably struggled at this the most this um, yeah, <coughs> this year. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. All right, hold hold that thought for a second because now that you say that, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Um, Tucson. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a neat track. Yeah, it's fun. I, I've not driven Tucson, but I would love to. But that just working there in the flow of that track is pretty cool. Yeah, it's sick. Did you already ask Christian what his favorite was, Ashley? I did, and he, um, I think he said. Phoenix. Phoenix, yes. PKRA. Yeah. All right, guys. So, final thoughts about challenge. Well, we gotta give what them a picture. Guys, of what you guys thought? What What was your uh, takeaways? Final thoughts. Uh, Christian, we'll start with you since you were here first. Too many That's penalties. <laughs> <laughs> too many penalties yes someone else said that too <laughs> all right yeah. any uh shout outs anybody want to say thank you to <laughs> um well obviously thank you to you know gfc and p1 engines grill barbecue and track magic all them for all that for everything they've done so yeah gorilla barbecue yeah, yeah. 
They are also a supporter of NorCal Carters. One, two. Yes. Yeah. All right. To both drivers, what are your long-term plans? Do you want to end up in cars like IMSA or um, formula, stick with carts, or something else? Formula. Formula. Yeah, I want to try and go the formula route, maybe do IndyCar or something if I get the opportunity for sure. Can I answer that too? Sure. I want to end up in anything that's free. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> so this is the PKRA track, Phoenix Kart Racing Association. Uh, so we had did, Tucson. Did we you speak Roma. to Steve Eiser? Does where's Steve Eiser? Apparently he doesn't listen to the show on Mondays. Ah. Okay. So I intentionally didn't send out a bunch of messages to my regulars to see if they actually listen to the show. Ah. But we were trying to get what really happened is we were trying to get the um, guest from Challenge of Americas on, and then Andy got a late start hitting the road today, so he wasn't available. Mm. And then, uh, being that we didn't know who the champions were till yesterday, mm -hmm. and kind of getting a late start on everything is like, all right. If we're if we're not if we're not lined up, let's just do a test to see who listens. Let's wing it. Let's wing it. <laughs> yeah, you guys know me pretty well. I wing it. <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah, I was... you got to improvise. Yes, you do. Yes. You do. All right, guys. Are you kicking us off? Um. Well, I'm gonna close mine, and then you can close out the show. Okay. So <laughs> let's give our let's give our drivers a chance to give their shout outs. Good shout out, Christian. Thanks to, to P1 Engines, uh, Flying Husky Desert Flight, my mechanic, my parents. Who's your mechanic? Dave. <laughs> and yeah. Husky's box truck. And box truck. Of course. Alex Keys. AKR. Alex Keys Racing. Alex Keys Racing. There you go. AKR. Yeah, and he was oh. helping you out this weekend too. Who came this weekend with uh, from uh, Speed Concepts? Austin. Yes. Miles. Oh. Austin Miles. <laughs> yes. Austin Miles. Oh yeah, and up to you too. And also thanks to my mechanic Vinny Cervelli for having the cart perfect all year. So yeah. Vinny Cervelli. Vinny Cervelli. Vinny C. Yeah, all, all right, those. guys. Yeah. Any you other? Got, any you've other? Got a good, you've got a good mechanic too, Preston. Yeah, Benny. we like Benny. He's too. the best. Yeah. 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 Oh, guess guess what? This just to show you. Look who she just wouldn't grab. So I'm sure she's well <laughs> on her way. She's ready for a car. She's ready. Yes, she is. <laughs> So, but thanks guys for all you do for um, our local guys and, and the support. We really appreciate that. And we love your show. So thanks so much. Oh, no problem. Oh, I, we can't close the show yet though. Hey, Plambert. Yeah. Uh, favorite food, road food place. You, you missed that question. Um. <laughs> to and from the track. Depends. Usually Chick Fil A. Oh, that's a new one. Chick Fil A. Yeah. Chick Fil A. Okay. It's good. It's always good. It's always good. Okay. So your your stop is Chick Fil A. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us on Monday. We will see you guys soon. We'll be washing out for you guys where you're going. Um, when I'm going to drop you off of the stream, if you want to go, you can go. If you want to stay, you can stay. It's up to you. Any other final thoughts, shout outs, anything you want to say? No. All right. Love it. <laughs> All right, guys. Great job. Congratulations you. on your Thank challenge you. finishes. Thank you. Um, we'll see you in Sonoma. Sounds good. All See right. you guys later. All right. Bye, thank guys. Thank you guys for jumping on. And thank yeah, you for course. listening. That's the only way you would have known this show was happening tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. So wrapping up, we got um, our call outs that we were talking about throughout the show. Cole Nelson Racing. We got our race reports. 
We got how to get into karting and our um, other junior driver show. Again, hit me up. There's a standby list for that one. Um, and then the cart mom shows um, got a list as well. So if you want to come on my show to talk about karting, um, peace, NorCal. <laughs> What do you got going on in the background? My kid. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So Ashley just signed off. We just had Christian Cameron and Preston Lambert sign in. And uh, to, again, tonight was a test. The Challenge of Americas, they wrapped up their series yesterday at Sonoma. And I don't even know where I put my camera. It must be up there. Um, so they wrapped up their series on Sunday. And a lot of the teams are on the road heading back home. Some of the teams are getting ready to do a quick flip and uh, head out to uh, NOLA. So, uh, yeah. But, Andy, uh, thank you. Thank you for the support of NorCal Carters. And um, a great job on a, on a series that you wrapped up. And uh, you can go to NorCalCarters.com. Andy's going to kick off his uh, California Rock Championship here. Um, in a couple of months, that schedule is on NorCalCarters.com. So uh, once again, thank you to Andy and his crew. Thank you to our guest tonight. Um, Andy's website, ChallengeCarding.com. You can find all of his information there. And if there's shows that you guys want to see, let us know. And if we get enough requests for the same style show, uh, that's how we basically book them. So right now we're booked out till May. And, um, but we don't turn, we don't turn down ideas. And again, if we get enough, if we get enough requests with the same idea, then that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll keep adding them. Um, uh, I think we're going on our third junior show here coming up at the end of April. So the junior show has been really popular. It's been a lot of fun too. I, I really enjoy talking to the kids. Um, it's, their perspective is just different. Uh, we, we probably need to do more of a master's show too. So if you're a master's driver and you're listening to this, chime in. Uh, as Ashley said, April 18th, we are going to do getting into karting, which is probably going to turn into a little bit of a mini series. But um, check that out. Let's see. Oh, we're getting some comments in. Perfect. All right. Um, and what else? That's about it. Uh, so thank you everyone for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Uh, tonight was a little bit of a Hail Mary of uh, just based on the timing of the schedule. It's in the past, I wanted to put a podcast on a Monday after a big event, hoping for a guest. But in the past, my podcasts and my, my interviews have bounced all over the calendar. So there was no consistency. So um, Ashley and I, a couple of months ago, decided we're just going to stick to, to Mondays. It's NorCal Mondays. We're sticking to Mondays. Um, you have the Cart Chaser podcast. They come out on Tuesdays. We didn't want to be on top of them because uh, they're doing a great job out there. So we're on Mondays. And um, again, everyone's just traveling this week. So best of luck to everybody on the road. If you're going to another series this weekend, best of luck. Uh, travel safe. And just remember, if we all get one person in carding by next year, we'll double. Have a great evening.